Hello dear students. Welcome to history. Lesson number 5. Social and religious reform movements worksheet. Worksheet number 11. Here you learn many fill in the blanks and simple question answers and textbook question answers as well. Let us learn in detail. Worksheet number 11. History lesson number 5. Question number 1. The 19th century is called the period of. Answer is Renaissance. Raja Ram Mohan Rai started the newspaper called Samvada Kaumudi. The founder of Prarthana Samaj was Atmaram Panduranga. Dash propagated that freedom was the basic necessity of every individual. Answer Mahatma Jyoti Bapule propagated that freedom was the basic necessity of every individual. Swami Vivekananda's Guru was Ramakrishna Paramahamsa. Mention the book written by Jyoti Bapule. Gulamagiri. Who started Homebrew League in India? Mrs. Anibasan. Who started Aligar Movement? Sir Sayyad Ahmad Khan. 19th century is called the Age of Renaissance. Why? In this century, with the implementation of English education, a new class of educated Indians was created. Many European concepts like democracy, nationalism, equality started finding deep roots in India. Many Indians who received English education started analyzing their own society and that's why this period is called Age of Renaissance. The Anglo Oriental College was started by Sayyid Ahmad Khan. The principles of Swarajya Swadharma advocated by Dayananda Saraswati. The father of Indian Renaissance is Raja Ram Mohan Roy. Mention the book written by Dayananda Saraswati. Satyartha Prakash is the book written by Dayananda Saraswati. Who gave call back to Vedas? Dayananda Saraswati. What is purification movement? Purification ceremony is to bring back to the Hindu religion, all those who had got converted to other religion. Those who came back underwent the purification ritual and were accepted by Hinduism. Who followed Jyoti Mapule's principles? Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, Savitri Bhai Pule, Sahu Maharaj. Write the basic aim of reformation movement. The basic aim of reformation movement is to declare the value of individuals' self-respect. Write the contributions of Justice Ranade. M. G. Ranade believed that progress in the political and economic fields was impossible without reform of the society. He propagated Hindu-Muslim unity. Ranade was active in the National Party. 
Ranade was active in the National Congress Party. He started a high school for educating girls. What are the preachings of Brahma Samaj? Brahma Samaj advocated monotheism. It opposed meaningless rituals. Every person should live with dignity and no law or ritual should violate this provision. Brahma Samaj intended to assure equality to women by opposing polygamy. It advocated for a share in property to honor dignity of life to widow. It also opposed child marriage. Brahma Samaj declared that one can take good things from anywhere. It also declared that Upanishads and Vedas also advocated these principles. Analyze the call of Dayananda Saraswati to return to Vedas. Dayananda Saraswati realized that the remedies to the various maladies of India are present in Vedas. Hence, he declared back to Vedas. He was a more a Renaissance person than a Reformation person. He declared that only Vedas are authentic. Explain the reforms propagated by Satya Shodak Samaj. Satya Shodak Samaj was founded to provide equal rights to non Brahmin class and women. In order to build a philosophical base for the movement, he wrote books like Gulamagiri. He opened schools for Shudras and girls. Analyze the objectives of Aligarh movement. Aligarh movement aimed at promoting harmony of Eastern and Western ideas through transformation of the Muslims in their political, social, educational, religious and philosophical beliefs with an intention to provide modern education to the Muslim community, he started the Anglo-Oriental College. Later on, this college was renamed Aligarh Muslim University. Its main objective was to provide religious education along with Western education and to create a modern society through Western education. Explain the vision of Ramakrishna Mission. Swami Vivekananda established Ramakrishna Mission in order to propagate the ideas of his teacher Ramakrishna Paramahamsa. The main objective of this organization was to spread the message of equality of all religions and to put that into practice. The mingling of ancient, modern, and Western thinkers can be seen here. Swami Vivekananda was a great inspiration to the youth. Explain. Swami Vivekananda was a revolutionary monk who opened the eyes of Indians to the importance of loving life. He stressed the significance of the individual, his presence and ability. He maintained that apart from prayer and practice of yoga, social service was also necessary for achievement of salvation, that is moksha. Ramakrishna mission is continuing to nurture culture through education and social service. Vivekananda emphasized that nation and religion were like the two faces of a coin. Many national leaders, including Gandhi, were inspired by the philosophy of Vivekananda. Which are the reforms brought about by Anibasan? Anibasan gave Theosophical society a new vitality. She arose pride in Indian culture, 
through her lectures. She attempted to establish equality, universal brotherhood and harmony in society. Annie Besant gave her full support to the freedom struggle. She started a new newspaper called New India. In 1916, she started Home Rule Movement. She was the president of the Congress session in 1917. She contributed immensely to the Indian philosophy and the independence struggle. Dear students, you have learnt many number of questions in history lesson number 5, social and religious reform movements. All these questions are most likely questions. Hope you follow all these and learn well. I wish you all the best. Keep watching this channel for all the lessons worksheets and question papers with answers. I wish you all the best. Thank you.